Hello everyone, RPG Kingdom Kid here, bringing you a let's play of Kingdom Hearts Birth, Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a Fragmentary Passage. That is not what the video is going to be titled, it's going to be titled Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Frag a Fragmentary Passage. Birth by Sleep just seems to like fit into the whole criteria for that. So, yes, finally, we get to see what Aqua's story unfolds. In the realm of darkness after so long i know i know a lot of you have probably been waiting for this since i started this um but you know i had to do the order i had to do dream drop distance and it doesn't really matter when you watch a back cover but it, they say the first cutscene of this game kind of feels more important or like it it feels better to have watched back cover first before you see the first cutscene for this so i'm super excited for that so yeah i'm really excited to finally play a game that's going to be played like with the Kingdom Hearts 3 engine which is basically Unreal Engine 4 which again uh, I mentioned this when when uh, we watched back cover but were you s seeing that Unreal Engine 4 logo pop up in this just, oh it makes it feel amazing is this the same uh, dearly beloved that plays during uh, Birth by Sleep I can't tell it might be it might be Yeah, I think it is. Um, oh, I gotta turn down the volume a bit. So, yeah, unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to change the opening music to something else. Cause even though oh, the Ray of Hope mix for Simple and Clean is amazing. Uh, bo actually, both of the mixes are great. I got them both on I uh, both. I can't remember what the other one mix is called. I think it's like PJ something mix or DJ something mix. Uh, both uh, Simple and Clean and Hikaru, which is what the theme song is called in Jap Japanese. Both amazing. And you can get all four of them. Uh, Yutai Hikaru's EP dropped, uh, I think, the same day the Japanese version released. So, yeah, get on iTunes. Get however you get legally, because it's great and supporter. It's awesome to like support some of your favorite musicians, too. Yes! Alrighty. Well... Enough blabbering. I'm really looking forward to this. Like, oh, we get to see so many people in this. Oh my god, we get to see like Sora, Riku, and Kyrie in it. In, in this, we see Aqua, Terra, and Ventus, Mickey, Yen Sid. Mickey actually really improved from like the first trailer, and I think the second trailer still looked pretty not the greatest. But or whatever trailer we first saw him in in this thing, he was not that great. They kind of slowly improved him, and I'm glad. And hopefully, like, I think they're going to keep improving. It as well for Kingdom Hearts 3 once you know they'll be like okay we gotta improve it just a bit more actually um, originally in the Japanese version they uh, for that opening uh, Vanitas or Ven being controlled by Vanitas his eyes were blue and he had like a shield guard and something with Aqua's chin it was more like pointed I and they released an update I think like a few days afterwards or like a week after actually I don't think it was a well, night been no they were the point is they released an update where they fixed Aqua's chin so it wasn't that pointed and uh, they fixed uh, uh, Ventus Vanita's eyes to be yellow and they got rid of the chin guard which which wasn't there when uh, she fought him in the game so yes okay enough of my blabber like it just means that oh wow they're actually giving out updates for Kingdom Hearts games which a lot of people are like why did they do this for 2.5 with the loading times like well nah. But hopefully we don't have that problem with the PS4 versions of those games coming out soon. <laughs> it's actually funny. Uh, they they showed the um, they showed the uh, cover of it of the 1.5 plus 2.5 collection a few uh, like a week ago or something like that. And <laughs> on the uh, K on the 1.5 cover, like Xion's hand was completely gone because it was being covered up by the logo, and they never really thought like, oh wow, oh. but. But there was promotional art of that same cover with her hand being covered by like a chessboard piece square. So I, it was weird. Like, why didn't they use that at first? But then they updated it. So it's like, oh, we should probably update it. So it looks like they were really giving it a lot of thought or they really want to make all the Kingdom Hearts things like so much better than they were before. And I'm glad that they're doing that, especially with this beloved series. Like, it's so loved by so many people. Myself included, obviously. It's one of my favorite uh, game series. Like, I just love it to bits, and I'm super excited. But, oh wow. Spent over 10 minutes on just this alone. 
a lot of you probably clicked away. I hope you haven't. But, all right, we'll start a new game. Of course, we're going to do it on proud mode. Oh, wow, that's all we got to do? Okay, sweet. Oh, vibration is like automatically on. Oh, okay. Well, um, okay, I guess here's our controls. Okay, target shortcuts. Okay, figured with L1. Uh, menu in the field, pause during battle, display pause, okay, I figured. Move cursor, switch commands, okay. Move ca ca change camera view, okay. Rotate camera, reset camera, block, of course, dodge with moving. Confirm is X. Uh, circle is cancel, jump, let go, hanging. Perform situation command when command is available. Target lock on. Shot lock to hold button, yes, super excited for that. Oh, nothing else? Um, block counter. Um, oh, wait. oh, here we go. A counter attack can be used immediately after blocking an enemy attack. As a successful block, press X to perform a command. Okay. Double flight lets you leap higher, which means for a second jump. Okay, that's cool. Tilt the left stick and press square. Okay. Magic. Select magic. Oh, yeah, they also, like, updated, like, her magic. Like, you can now tell when magic skills will deplete your mp bar which has the same mp bar that uh kingdom hearts 2 has uh they also did like a whole you can cancel out of a block type thing i i don't really fully understand it but no well select magic by the follow select magic followed by the spell you wish to use oh. i think kiraga does not take up all of your uh mp like it did for kingdom hearts 2 which is a big improve improvement Cast spells deplete your MP gauge. You cannot cast spells when in, without MP. MP charge. This action restores your MP gauge after a certain amount of time. Okay, when you run out of MP, MP charge is activated. Spells cannot be cast during this time. Once the P gauge is depleted, your MP gauge is fully restored. All right. Spell situation commands. Okay, let's watch this. Inflict damage on enemies and situation command will appear above your command menu. Okay, so that's kind of like the, that's kind of like you know the finish they seem. Different situation commands appear depending on your battle style. Okay. Fireage. Yeah. Ooh. Press square to activate situation commands. Use uh, the directional buttons to select the command and press triangle to activate it. Okay, so you have Spellweaver, Fireage, Blizzaja, and probably a Thundaja. Some situation commands let you transform your battle style with the command style change or allow you to unleash powerful spells. Awesome. Shotlock lets you unleash a powerful attack that hits all target enemies. Hold R1 down on the targets and press X to fire. The focus gauge is deplete once the attack is unleashed. Shotlock cannot be used again until the gauge is restored. Oh, that. Okay, so does Shotlock like fully deplete your focus gauge then? Because I know in Birth by Sleep, you could still use it as long as you still had some gauge. I mean, you might not get the max hits, but. or like the max lock-ons that it can have but you can still use it um depending on which one you can you could probably get it so restore focus gauge by attending focus prize drop by enemies objectives all right here we go this is the accessories fulfill specific conditions to complete objectives and you will be rewarded with clothing and accessories for aqua's wardrobes view conditions and rewards for various objectives from objectives in the main menu equip doctor with these uh, items from wardrobe in the main menu dress up aqua in your own style i'm super looking forward to that <laughs> All right, we're back to this. All right, now let's begin. Jesus Christ, 15 minutes into this video and we haven't even done gameplay. All right, now be quiet because I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene. I'm super excited to see what it looks like considering that we just watched back cover yesterday. So here we go. The great battle with Xehanort is almost upon us. As you know, 
must take action to keep the seven pure lights safe. And thus we must hasten to assemble the seven guardians of light. It is time to return to our world the three keyblade wielders we lost over a decade ago. Ventus, Terra, and Aqua must be saved from their sad end, for they have more to achieve. Following their first battle with Xehanort, Ventus's heart refused to awaken, and so Aqua found a safe location to conceal him. But when she set off in search of her other missing friend, Terra, she fell to a place from which there is no return without outside help. I saw her in the realm of darkness. Oh, could it be? This tutorial will teach you the basic commands. View tutorial? Sure, I will, but before I do that, wow, that opening. Yensei looks so. They all look so good. Also, um, between Mickey and now Aqua, they played the opening again. I'm going to cut that out because, I mean, we already saw it. There was actually nothing different between the two, so. Just going to cut that out. Hopefully, I don't forget. Move L to make Aqua run. Tilt slightly to make her walk. Move the com camera with. Yes, yes, I know. Ooh, fancy. Alrighty, okay, story. What's, um, story so far? Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, story so far. The beginning, Disney Islands, a small set of islands at the home of a young man nearing for adventure. Years later, Master Xehanort, no longer a young man, returns home. Donned in a black coat, he carries onto his side a young boy, Ventus, wrapped in a white cloth. Ventus's eyes are devoid of light. He has lost a piece of his heart, the result being one of the story. Oh wow, this is just the story of Birth by Sleep. Um Yeah. I'm not gonna read all that. That is way too much. Um also, if you wanna know the story of Birth by Sleep, hey I did a let's play of it that is in my on my other channel, actually. Go ahead and watch that. I was actually really proud of that uh let's play, because that was the one like I did it in I didn't do it story by story, like Terra, then Ventus, then Aqua. I did it. I did all of them side by side. I did like, you know, I was like, okay, uh, who was the first in this world? Oh, Terra was the first in this world. Uh, who was the first in this world? Oh, Ventus was? Okay, let's do it as Ventus. Like, I did it as that. And then there was a couple videos where I kind of spliced them together. Uh, I think there was like four. Um, nah, the sec I think part two, um, after the tutorial for it. And then part, um, uh, uh, the one after Neverland, I did that too. Uh, and then the two ending video, the two ending videos of each story, they were uh, all endings were mixed into two parts because one of them had the first boss and the second one had the all three of the boss, uh, the last boss for each of them. From there. Prologue. Okay, this world is coming to an end. As Kingdom Hearts involves everything in light, a beautiful spectacular despite the bleak reality. Dark cloak figure watches from afar. A large black box by his feet. His hand rests upon the tilt of hilt of a keyblade. Decorated with an emblem of a goat, in the center of the blade is a giant glistening eye that reflects countless keyblades absorbed by the wielders. Okay, so that is, that is Lu Xu, um, obviously watching as this unfolds. And I can't figure that was Lu Xu, so this is, that, that happened after the Keyblade War, which inevitably happens at the end of, uh, Key or Back of or Unchained Key, whatever you want to say. Uh, the opening. As the battle of Xanar draws near, Yensed reveals the existence of Keyblade wielders Ver Ventus, Terra, and Aqua, three of the seven guardians of light. However, all have disappeared from the world. The king has encountered one, Aqua, in the realm of darkness, and he shares his tale. Alrighty. Oh, God. God, there's my babe. Kyrie looks so beautiful. Oh, oh. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. 
Oh, wow, we start off at level 50? Oh, wow, no wonder people are, like, already, um, got to, like, high levels soon. Wow, that's... Oh, I mean, I kind of figured you don't really should start off at level 1 when you already know, um... When you already know, uh... Um... Oh, there's nothing back here. I was, wow, I wonder how many people actually went back here. Because I'm like... Uh, I also love that the fact like the first cutscene we see with Aqua is like the last one that we saw with her in the secret episode. So that's actually really cool. Oh, wow. This moves so smoothly, guys. I don't... I'm pretty sure this is probably 30 FPS on my PS4. Uh, I almost said 3. Jesus. Um, since I have a regular PS3... Um, I don't think it's, uh, 60 frame by, uh, frames per second. It might be, I can't honestly tell. Like, I honestly don't know how people can tell, but no matter what, it still looks amazing on here. Uh, jump a circle, hold down the button, jump higher. Some walls may be too high to jump over, but you can grab onto the ledge while, while, while dangling. Tilt to climb up. Okay. Yes, I know I have to hold jump to jump faster, higher. Can we get much higher, 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 so high? God, she's beautiful. Oh my god. Okay. Gotta watch the HUD, because I'm pretty sure her face is going to change. Why is Cinderella's world here in the darkness? <laughs> Oh yeah, her face did change. I knew it. That's I love that. I love that their faces are going to change when they enter battle. With the attack command, press X. Uh, attack with the, your keyblade. Keep attacking to unleash powerful combos. Press circle to dodge. Or block enemies and dodge. Yes. Ooh. So I already know combo master. Oh wow, these guys give almost 200 uh, experience. That's actually cool. Also, there is a secret boss in this game, apparently. Um, how you find it is actually really interesting. I'm really looking forward to that. Press R to switch to, switch to a manual lock on mode. Press R to... Okay, thank you. Like, Thank you. I really hate how they did the lock. Ooh, wow. Oh, my God. That looks so beautiful. That looks so amazing. Um, I really didn't like how they did the lock. I wish they did it this way. For dream drop distance instead of having you hold on to the R1 button to lock on. Yep. There's no time in the realm of darkness. I walk on and on without end. In the realm of light, do days or years pass with each step? I know something has started to go wrong. I must hurry. Oh my god, I also love the fact that you, like, they go from cutscene to gameplay since it's all, like, the same. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Okay. Uh, oh, we haven't learned about magic or items yet. Oh my god, she put- Oh, she's so sassy! Oh my god, look at her! She has, like, idol animations! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm fanboying so much about this, guys! Fuck, what was I say before? Um... Yeah, I was saying something before the cutscene happened, but I love that she like kind of moves a little to the side depending on like how I love that like back and forth things so cool. Ooh, vibrations! I guess I know which way I'm going. Sometimes a dead end isn't so dead. Try exploring every corner of the map. Yeah, I see that the glistening platforms. Oh, hello. Still not teaching me double flight yet. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, flow motion. Not, uh, it's not flow motion, it's like action flow. I completely forgot what it's called. Approach a treasure chest to fill those other specific conditions, and a situation command will appear. These commands appear in various situations. Press triangle to perform the action. Use items in the inventory 
Use items in your inventory from the items command. So like the items you'd use by press the triangle or square or X I meant. Okay. Why did I use that? I wasted a potion. That was my. That was probably my fault. Oh hey. Oh. Okay. Ooh, I love how Reflect looks. It's so beautiful. I probably did not have to do that. So, that was my fault. I haven't felt my heart stir in a long time. Something about this place. It looks like worse things are stirring. Oh my god, the transitions! Come on, I want... Come on, hit me! You're done. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the battle quotes. Like, she, she just sounds so monotone. See, that, that wasn't like anything really... Ooh, strength up. Ooh, that level up looks awesome! Again, I love the whole transition from cutscene to battle! It's so awesome! Ooh, that's so cool! Oh, I guess, um, no cutscene. Hmm. This is not a cutscene and everything. Teach me about magic! Then you gotta teach me about my focus gauge. Oh. I want me to select health and the basics of control anytime. Thank you, I know. I honestly don't. Ooh, I love that transition. That's actually pretty cool. Ooh, wandering in the dark. Start my journey, guys. Now, these load times are a little longer than Dream Drop Distance, but it's fine. I took it for granted. I thought I had nothing in life to lose. Here too, everyone in this world thought that they were safe. Not just the people, but the dog waiting for his owner. The cat curled up in her nook. So much life, trees and flowers. There's no deeper sadness than discovering all that you knew was gone. The grief in this place is too much to fathom. <sighs> That's enough. I can't keep on wishing for the past. Oh, oh my god! That's so beautiful! Seeing those cutscenes and everything on, yeah. I realized that I did not show, like, they're my birth by sleep, let's play. I didn't show, like, you know, Ventus, or, no. Ventus was the one that got the Million Dreams Award, but right there, with Mini, that's Aqua getting the Million Dreams Award, uh, and I never showed Terrors either. That, that kind of sucks. I completely forgot about that, but, oh well. Hey, now we learned about, hey, sweet, so we can, uh, yay, finally, objectives, okay. Aw. Alright, so we gotta defeat 30 shadows. That doesn't seem so bad. I'm pretty sure these will probably unlock as we go. Where's Aqua's level 60? Defeat 5 Heartless using Counter Blast. 
Hit 20... Steel lamps? Okay. Uh, climb to the highest point of Castle Tower. Town, okay. Watch for a meteor shower. Ooh. I, I'm pretty sure there's more than 51 objectives. Um, they'll get changed as we go on. Ooh! Ooh, that's beautiful. I'm just gonna keep that on. Nothing for the back, nothing for the arms, nothing for the head. Cannot change the color. <clears throat> oh my god. Select from palette. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that just pissed me off. I think that's just a regular color right there. Um, or no, that's why they're really. There you go. Um, I want to rock out it. Ooh, that's actually cool. Yeah, save that one. Graduation. What? Oh, okay. This is going into way too much more detail than I would ever want to do it. Yeah, that's right. We're going. We're going for a whole uh. Ooh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Some of the tutorials, huh? Ooh, those magic blades. So I have to strike 20 of these things to unlock an objective. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they just like... The day before I am recording this, they... They released... Can I go... Ooh, I can keep going... Oh, nope, can't. Ah, there's no map either. At least not by hitting the... Man, I wish there was a map. Yeah. Or that might be one of our items that we get into. Oh my god, I love that she just leaps over the stuff. I don't know if I hit you yet, but I'm yeah. going to hit you again. Just be on the safe side. Um... Same with you. I probably hit you, but I don't remember it. Um... Oh, she moves so elegantly. Ow. There's no reason I keep hitting it more times than I should. Same with the barrels. I don't really have a reason to hit them. I just love being destructive. I love the MP orbs in this thing. They look so cool. Gosh, this is awesome. Seriously, if you have a PS4 pick up, this game is good. when the clock advanced. <sighs> if only I made it in time. But there is no time in this place, only the clock. Oh my god, oh my god. So beautiful, so beautiful. I should look for a gear. Ooh, a new objective has been unlocked. Hey, oh. Was I also hitting the wrong one? Okay, well what? New object... What new objective do we have? Oh, here we go. Master of Fire. Use fire base, magic, and probably ice, and owl, and thunder. Use ice-based magic to create a rail, then ride the rail a long distance. Freeze at least five Heartless and shatter them. Some Heartless are weak to certain types of magic. Use the right item 
Use right type to hit an enemy for extra damage. Okay. Think I know them. Wait, what? I only... Seriously, I only hit 3 out of 20? Bullshit. I hit more than 3 of them. Bullshit. There was more than 3. Ooh, big chest. That's probably our map. Are you going to open elegantly? Yeah. Oh my god. Yay, map. Ooh. I love how... how oh, hello. It kind of sucks that you can't really... I mean... Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Whoa, hello. Ooh, these new bat ones are awesome looking. Okay, let's try... Thundaga! Oh wow, the Heartless are already... Just the plain shells are now giving me over 200 experience again? Jeez. Well, not again, but... Now, but... Oh wow. That was an item. Oh, that was a focus gauge. Oh, that magic MP is really small. Hopefully... I mean, I'm sure it'll get bigger as, like, probably, you know... Okay, hold on one. I want to try that ice thing here. Oh, damn it, I... Okay, that didn't go how I wanted it to. Try it again. Okay, that's just not doing it for me. Damn it. Hey, save points! Woo! Finally! Alright, how are we how are we doing? Time wise. Oh well, you know guys, I ooh. Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. Well guys, I I think I'm going to end the part right here. Uh, I know we haven't really done that much, but, you know, link-wise, we pretty much did a lot of stuff. But, yeah. Oh, God. I'm so excited for this, guys. You have no idea. I mean, you probably do since how much I spent talking about it. I kind of don't like that whole fading to black it does when it, um... Oh, the feet the flutterings. Okay. I don't really like that whole fade to black thing that it does to go to the menu. It seems a bit like, mm, to me, but, uh, I mean, worse things have happened, so, uh, uh, how do I do ice beer right here, I wonder? Uh, some of these objectives are gonna be a little hard to do, but definitely gonna, like, you know, try to unlock them all, especially since there's a trophy type of them. But yeah, guys. Anyway, that is gonna do it for this part of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 0.2, A Fragmentary Passage. In the next video, we will go on to defeat all the gears, and we'll probably wrap up this world, too. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Ooh, I love the idle animations too. Please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you like about the video, what you didn't like about the video. And let me know how excited you are to explore the dark world with me and Aqua. I'm super excited for this too. Oh, you have no idea. As always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter and the RBG Kingdom Kid Twitter are in there too. Well, thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.